Come then. No, they're all just a hurry. Oh! <laughs> I love it! It's for Harry Potter Day. I love it so much! And and I didn't get mine, but Harry did. Him. This is in the post it said. They captioned it for the vomiter. Like it? I love it! Oh, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Put your hat on then. <laughs> Where's Hugo's hat? Hugo doesn't have a hat. There you go. He doesn't like I can't school. believe how cool that is. That actually looks so cool. Yeah, so obviously when curtains are closed, everything like that, turn the lights on. Oh my god. I actually love it so much. I actually feel like I'm in the Dursley <laughs> house. I could have done with a few more just to fill out the gap in the middle of the room. No, I but think I hope this good. is one pack. And it would have had too much otherwise. But. I think that's good. I mean, you can't have too many letters for Harry because <laughs> they come out of everywhere. That's true. Well, I actually love it so much. Mm. It makes me feel very um. Abundant. Yeah, I don't know why. Do you know what I mean? Like it I just instantly made me feel well. like I just want to sit and watch movies all day now. Which is the plan. That you know, I said that I didn't get you. Uh, uh, happy birthday, Diana. I don't you need know. one. I've got my acceptance at the Hogwarts. Yeah, hey, I've been waiting for this my whole life. Here you go, have more coffee. <sighs> and for Monday, I will be stuck in Hogwarts, and I'll probably. I literally come down in my little thing. Did you see? Oh, I did. You also did training. Because I'm a wizard. In training. Who are you talking to, you weirdo? Huh? Even in the wizarding world, hearing voices is not a good thing. <laughs> It's my birthday, I can cry if I want to. That's getting cut. It is currently Saturday morning. If you didn't, well, I was gonna say if you didn't see the last clip, but to get here, you would have watched the last clip, I'm guessing. Um, and yeah, it's quarter past eight. We are getting ready to, I don't know, go to town. Um, we're gonna go get some breakfast. Do a little bit of shopping, not anything, you know, extravagant to be honest, because there's not much I need. Uh, but there's a few things I would like, so we're just going to have a little browse. But we're mainly going for breakfast, I think. The rest of the day consists of um, watching Harry Potter, eating lots of food. <laughs> and chilling we do have a little bit of double take editing to do but we filmed nine videos i think yesterday so we're good until like monday which is nice so over my birthday we don't have to film um but obviously live streaming at some point this weekend it'll be all actually on my birthday though it's not actually my birthday yet but technically my birthday celebration starts now um how cute was the letters that Connor did all over the ceilings like honestly I can't tell you how thoughtful Connor's been for this birthday like he actually always is birthdays are something Connor's really good at and 
just putting in a lot of thought, you know? Um, I can't remember what I was saying, but, oh, Connor, yeah, he's so thoughtful when it comes to birthdays. So, like, today, or over this weekend, he's planned it all out. Um, I didn't want him to spend too much money just because... I just, um, I just didn't, there was no, no real reason, I just told him not to, like, do too much. So today, we're just doing a little bit of shopping, going for breakfast, watching Harry Potter all day, we're getting a Chinese for dinner, and it's just going to be fun, we're going to do some, Connor's printed off all of our photos that he has of us together from, like, day one, and we are going to put them in a photo album, like, I'm just so excited it's going to be a really wholesome day i think and that's what i love when connor plans my birthdays it's just everything's really wholesome <clears throat> and if you don't know me i'm one very sentimental and two prioritize wholesome stuff over like anything else i do actually need to hurry up and get ready because otherwise connor's going to remind me that i'm not ready in time but it's one of those mornings where I literally cannot find anything. <laughs> I would like to go to Primark, just to have a look at their like fake nails because I kind of want to get some, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so I'm just putting a little bit of this Revolution bronzer on. Just, I've, I'm not going to put foundation on that, honestly. I cannot, I don't have the energy for it to be honest with you. I didn't sleep great last night. But we have to put that aside and be energetic for the day. <laughs> um, but a little bit of bronzer always helps. So I'm just going to put that kind of everywhere just to make me look a bit more sculpted and less round. I've got such a round face, I feel. Connor doesn't think I do, but I do. Okay, then I'm going to go in with this 17 blush drop. So one thing I would really like to get my hands on is the 17, I can't remember what it's called, like honey something. It's a Clinique dupe. And I'm not going to lie, I've never even tried the Clinique one. But this colour of like lip tint that everyone is going on about, it's just beautiful and I really want it. I don't, I'm not one for lipstick. I think lipstick looks really weird on me. The only thing I ever wear... Is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm, which is like it changes colour on your lips. If that makes sense. Um, that's the only thing I ever really wear. I'm just gonna go in with a bit of concealer to cover this bags. Um, one thing I don't really do anymore is conceal spots because I just think they look worse. Does anyone else find that? Anyway, yeah. I didn't even finish telling you what we're doing for my birthday. Like my ADH brain. ADHD brain is just not with it today, this morning, whenever. It's never really with it, to be honest. But, um, yeah. We're going to be scrapbooking. And then Connor's bought a Harry Potter, the flying car Lego set. I've never done Lego um, with Connor before. And I'm excited because it's Harry Potter. <laughs> Duh. Who wouldn't be excited for Harry Potter Lego? Like, I actually don't know. You're crazy if you're not. And I don't mean that by the way, so please don't take offence. So <clears throat> we're doing that scrapbooking. I think Connor's gonna edit the videos because I honestly haven't stopped editing this week because we've been uploading five times a day. If you don't know, we've had a lot of paid requests, which we try and do within like two weeks, but because we had so many, we had to up our um upload to from three to five a day so we've been filmed like it has honestly been a really tough week we've been filming every single night and then i've been editing every single day and it's just been a lot <laughs> so i will be happy to go back to our normal three times uh three times a day which is still a lot like i don't think people realize three times a day is lot to upload and editing does take a while because we have to match the clips up we film if you are interested on how we film our reaction channel we film the video that we're reacting to separately to our reaction so that the audio is better 
um, and we can just adjust the audio on both video clips. Um, so we have to match it up to our voices and stuff or our, like our reaction. It's just not a case of uploading it and then cutting out the silence. I wish it was that simple. Uh, it doesn't take too long once you're in the swing of it, but I don't know. It's just, it's very draining to do when you're sitting at a computer for like two or three hours, just editing loads of videos. And then you've got to do all the thumbnails, which take time because we, for our thumbnails, we screenshot the video, we screenshot a part of our reaction and then we use that and then we have to remove the background and all that. It's not just a simple case of screenshot, upload to Canva, just doesn't work that way. So it is very time consuming, but it is fun. So wouldn't really change it for the world to be honest. I'm thinking that's all I'm going to do. Oh. I don't care. I really couldn't care less. Let's do a bit of highlights. Wake myself up a bit. Connor's like, you need to be ready for when I'm back. I'm not ready. So let's hope he doesn't come back yet. I mean, to be fair, this clip is 10 minutes long, but I definitely didn't start my makeup straight away. So I don't think that's that bad. Okay, we're going to curl. Our lashes, my favourite part. I'm just going to do a little bit of mascara. I don't want to do too much. But, yeah, that's what we're doing. And like I said, I think Connor's going to edit because I've edited all week. Because he's been at work. I mean, that's pretty much the reason. And I only work, I work part-time. He works full-time. So, it makes sense for me to edit. But it is draining. Especially when I have to edit my weekly vlogs as well. Like, just so much time sitting at a computer. And because we have to do it at the computer, because both of our laptops aren't great for editing, and we film the reactions on the computer, so we have to sit there and edit them. Oh, I just hate sitting there. Like, I'd honestly enjoy it more just sitting on a laptop and editing in front of the TV on the sofa, but we can't. So I think that's why it feels a little more draining, because you're sitting upright doing that for a good couple of hours. But it's not too bad, like it could be a lot worse. So I am moaning, but I don't really mean it. <laughs> I just, I feel very tired today as well. So I'm hoping that my mood lifts a little bit. I don't know if I want to wear mascara, if I'm being completely honest, because I just, I don't, I can't bother to take it off at the end of the day. Yeah, that's me done. I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. Just... My lips are so, such a horrible colour. They just make me look ill all the time. Okay. I think that is good. That's all I'm going to do. And now let's get dressed. So I already know what I want to wear. So we're going with tights first. It's actually really rare for me to know what I want to wear. But I have so much like out, outfit. What's the word? outfits that I just love at the minute that I don't because I don't really go out <laughs> this is the problem if you don't leave your house like me but you like you like fashion or no I don't like fashion I just like outfits I like but they're too dressy to just go to my mum's you know I want to be lounging at my mum's house not looking like I'm about to go for afternoon tea um so I feel like when any opportunity comes and we're leaving the house, I'm like, yes, I can wear my outfits. I think I really want to wear my new boots, but I don't know. Okay, I, I, I did have an outfit in mind and now I'm questioning it. I think I'm going to go in with this black ASOS score, but I might change my mind. If Connor's not back by the time I'm dressed, I'll, I'll probably rechange. Okay, black score. You really can't see. Black score, tights. And then I'm thinking my cream jumper. I've not yet worn this. Let's have a look. And then I'm thinking, right, I'm going to put some fluffy socks on. 
on over my tights. Wow. And then on my brown bag, I think it would look cute. Okay. Do we tuck or do we not tuck? A little tuck's quite cute, I think. I don't know what the temperature's like. Do I need a jacket? Then my little brown bag. You can't see. This room is a mess, so please excuse, but this is the outfit. Do we like it? I think it's cute. This is breakfast birthday outfit oh um let's put some jewelry in actually because i have time still he's not back yet i don't know where he is should we have a little look uh okay he's still on the field <gasps> yeah he's making his way back now i think okay one earring in. these earrings are just primark for anyone who's interested except i can't find the other ones so oh there it is, is that it? yeah um, just these gold little hoopies and then jewellery I think is in my bag downstairs so we might have to grab that uh, is it? I kind of want to wear my Connor necklace which I think is downstairs so in my little bag we're going to take I'm going to shove my purse in there my phone, this the Charlotte Tilbury thing. I think I want lip balm as well. Uh, but I think that's in my bag downstairs. So, should we go downstairs? I'm going to show you the outfit probably better downstairs. Okay, this is my normal bag. So, I'm going to put my purse. I hope it fits. Okay, it doesn't fit. So, I'm going to take a few essentials out. Bank card. All my other cards are already, already in there, so I don't really need anything else. And then from this bag, yes, my necklaces. So I'm going to wear this Connor necklace. <gasps> Hello, what I'm... time, little girl? What? What time, now? Do you like my outfit? I do like your outfit, yes. Oh, I did do your food ready. Was your toy? Yeah. And then this necklace, which is like beads. <laughs> All from Timo. <laughs> and I think that will be me done. Oh, I've also got my, um, this is gonna trigger some people, my silver promise ring on. Oh. Um, I'm going to take my pumpkins because people don't like when you mix gold and silver together. Uh, and my lip balm. And we're ready to go. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready for you. Okay, well, see you guys in town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you going to try a bit of black today? No. Have you ever tried it? Yeah. You it tastes of blood. It does. We're home and I'm changed into my movie marathon pajamas. Um, and Connor said I should give you a haul. Also, I forgot to show you the flowers my mum got me, so I'm going to show you. Hold on. How pretty are these flowers? They're from Freddie's Flowers, I yeah, think. The ones, cool. Freddie's Flowers. Anyway, I did have a little spending limit. And I was actually under my spending limit, wasn't I? Yeah, I owe you a tenner. No, I don't want to, thank you. So I thought I'd just show you what I got. I wasn't actually going to, but Connor said I should, so I'm going to. Um, and then Connor's just editing some videos now, and then I think we're going to get into it. Well, we could get into it while you're editing, can't we? Because you don't really like the Philosopher's Stone. Yeah. So once I've shown you this, I'm going to put Philosopher's Stone on, because Connor's not mad about that film, because he's seen it about 10,000 times. Um, because if you don't know, Philosopher's Stone is that film that I put on in the background of every occasion. If I don't know what to put on TV, 
it'll be the Philosopher's Stone on. So um, Connor has watched it quite a few times and before he even met me, he's watched it a lot of times. So that's such a ramble. Anyway, first stop was actually Primark, but I'm gonna show you what I got from the works first because I'm more excited. So this is, if you don't know, the ch um, what is this trilogy called? Oh my God. What is this? What is this trilogy called? Or what is this series called? I actually cannot for the life of me remember what it's called. It's the one with Icebreaker and Wildfire. <laughs> what is it called? Anyway, I got Daydream. I'm a bit behind on this because this came out a little while ago. I don't think it came out that long ago, but it came out a little while ago. Anyway, I'm really excited for this because I loved the first two books and why is buying books like endorphin central i can't explain it it's the best feeling in the world so we got that one and then i did limit to myself limit myself because i don't need any books i really don't um but i saw wicked i've never read the book of wicked but how beautiful is this cover i don't normally like covers with the actresses or actors on the front cover but this is just stunning and I couldn't leave it. Um, so I've actually seen Wicked in theatre. I love the soundtrack so much, but I've never read the book. So I don't know, I just picked it up. <laughs> love it. So that was the works. And then let's do, I'm just gonna do boots next because the stuff's on top. So I'm actually gonna do this while I'm watching Harry Potter, but I got some nail glue and some false nails because you don't need to see them up close to know that they're not very pretty. Um, I got these ones, but I also got another set from Primark, which is the set I think I'm going to put on. But these are just like French nails, so I think these are just a good all-rounder. And yeah, I got this Kiss glue, because I wanted to get the glue from Primark, but they didn't have any, so I didn't get that. And then I got this Rouge Love Story Flower Shower and Bath Gel Natural Jasmine Extract. Oh, it's Jasmine Extract. How fitting. Anyway, <laughs> this smells really, really nice. I can't really explain the smell. It's not that strong. I can't explain it at all for the life of me. But it smells really, it smells like a perfume. It kind of smells like my perfume. I don't know. Anyway, it's really nice. And this was like one ninety nine, and it's massive. So excited about that. Um, I also got a few. I'm a bit in my um, lip product era. Just because I get really, really dry lips. And I just like having something on my lips at all times. So I picked up a few things. The first thing is this Nivea 24 hour moisture cherry shine lip balm. I love the Nivea lip balms anyway, but this one's cherry and it's got like a red tint to it. So for my really pasty lips, I think is really nice. So got that one. There's quite a few. Then I've seen these everywhere at the minute. It's the Boots Lip Glossy Lip Balm. So I got the one in coconut and I got the one in cherry. These were like two pounds something, I think, but everyone keeps going on about how good these are. So I'm quite excited to try these. Um, let me know if you've tried these. And then this again, all over my TikTok and I'm very easily influenced. So I thought I'd give this a go. I don't know how to get it open though, because it's got, it's wrapped all the way around. Hello. We had a very yummy breakfast as you would have seen and Connor was a naughty boy and didn't finish all his food. So we bought some home um, for the dog. So he's got like loads of little bowls that Connor's made up for him with sausage, black pudding and bacon in them. 10 years later and we finally opened it, I had to use Connor's um, work knife thing. I think I'm gonna try this because I'm- Sorry? What? What's going on? I had to use your knife to open this. I didn't cut myself, don't I? Hello. <laughs> oh, this feels lovely.
What do you think? That's actually really nice. Mm. It's good, I really like that. It's like subtle, but it's it's nice and hydrating. Okay, I think that was it for boots. So next was Primark. So these are the nails I think I'm going to put on. These gel effect ones. I just really like them. They look quite autumnal. So I'm going to do them. I then got this... The dog's um, barking at God. I got this vitamin lip oil with vitamin E, uh, jojoba oil, and hyaluronic acid. This is vanilla scented. I probably should have picked up more than one, to be honest, but I don't need more than one. He wants you to help. He wants you to play with him. I just want to give this a sniff. It does smell like vanilla. Ooh, that's a nice look for you. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. And then I also got, this was the last thing I picked up. This is the Glaze Lip Treatment Hydrating Plumping Softening with Shea Butter and Peptide Complex. Just looks like this. So as you can see, I got loads of like nail bits um, and lip bits. And that's about it. But I just want to sniff this again because it's so nice. Do you want your presents? My presents? Yeah. For the day? For the day. Yeah. I already know what they are. I know, yeah. I already told you. It's a bit of a weird birthday, isn't it, this mm. one? My birthday's been spread over two days. Yeah. Which I'm not complaining about. That's true. Oh, I need to show you our sweet jars. Oh, yeah. This is part of it. So this was... Part of my present, Connor went to the shop and bought these massive Kilner jars, which I'm obsessed with, and he bought <laughs> so much chocolate to fill it. What chocolate's in there? So we've got Freddo's classic, massive um, giant milky buttons, Maltesers, Magic Stars, Magic Stars are my absolute favourite, yeah. Minstrels, two Kinder Joy Pots, the Harry Potter ones, which we've already had two of, and we got Harry and the Hogwarts Express. And is that it? Um, I think so, yeah. yeah. There was two packs of Magic Stars. stars but yeah. So that's that one. And then, this is for like our movie marathon Oh, day. and Whispers, weren't there? No, no Whispers. I thought I bought Whispers. Definitely no Whispers. I don't even remember seeing you Whispers. You said they were quite big. No, you got Freddo's. Please don't say we threw away the whispers. They'll be in that bin. We did. I don't remember seeing whispers. I thought I Have you got the receipt? No. Okay, and then he did this one as well, which is full of Harry Bows. Yeah. So we've got super super mix, tampastic, and star mix. Yeah. How cool are they? So we're going to be eating those all day. Smacking on them. And then what else are we doing? We're going to do a photo album. Well, he'll show you. I'll show you. I'm going to open. Yeah, it. I can give it to you now. Okay. Obviously, I haven't wrapped them up. No, I said it, he doesn't have to wrap them up, so I know what they are. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's like the family tree. This is our photo album. Do you need the flag? It's okay, I can get into this one. Oh, I love this. Just like imagine when we have kids and they come around and we can get the photo albums out and be like, this is how we met. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I obviously thought we could theme like pages, like a double page. We could yeah. theme it with some like photos. And, yeah, like, this first page should done. just be like... Intro. Intro, like when we first met. Well, we've got quite a lot of them. Oh, yeah, because we actually don't ever take photos of ourselves nowadays. Only problem is we don't have a lot of, like, landscape photos. Uh, like, well, horizontal, we so. can always add to it as we go. Right. <laughs> and these are the photos! A hundred photos. A hundred photos. Let's, let's get, have a little random uh, mix, shall we? I'm just going to pick one at random. Are they flat? Because when I got them, they were, like, sort of... Curved. Yeah, they're uh, a little bit curved, yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah. once they're in their thing, we will. I'm just going to pick a random photo. 
<laughs> this is the random photo. This is me at the zoo on top of a turtle. Yes. Enjoy I that. It was fun. That's a good one. <laughs> I love it. Right, should we do one more random one? Yeah. Oh, this is from one of our our first official date, I would say. Um, it was the, the picnic. picnic. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying, it's like our first official. This was a surprise picnic that Connor did for me. How young and cute we look. This is like oh. a month or two into our relationship. Yeah. I look so different. I look so like fake. Fake? Yeah, like massive hoop earrings, loads of makeup, false lashes, eyebrows that are really Blocky. I don't. Yeah. I don't do my makeup like that no more. <laughs> One for the history books, guys. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll show you guys more like while while we're doing it. Whilst, whilst we're doing it. Whilst. Whilst. I'm really excited to do that photo album. And Connor did it because he said because I said, um, what did I say a few like months ago or like a couple weeks ago that I really want photo albums, especially like when we have kids and stuff. Yeah. Want like actual photo albums that can just be passed down you know yeah because i just People feel can like just look back on yeah everything's digital now and i just like mm -hmm. having a physical book to look through like when we went to connor's nan's once she got all of the yeah, photo God, albums out of connor when he was a baby and stuff and i just loved looking through them it was just yeah. it was really wholesome and i just found it fun it's better than just looking on a screen and going next 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 yeah because you don't really look at the photos again really. no. he's eating the cardboard hugo is eating the cardboard box he thinks it's his birthday he's had more treats than me are you ready yeah <laughs> so excited with this car i was telling you guys about this earlier this is the flying car Flying Ford Anglia. Yes. With Harry Potter and Ron Weasley and Hedwig. I got that because we said, oh, that's the one we were most likely to get. Yeah. We went to the Lego shop in Brighton uh, a couple of weeks ago. And how fun was that shop? It was just, yeah. it, it was I really busy, that. unfortunately, but it was really, really fun. And I heard as well that they're discontinuing the train, but the train is £450. Like, it's, it's just a bit out of our budget. But the flying car is fun. So I'm really excited to do this today. I just, I love doing Lego. I never do it. I never buy Lego, but it's just so much fun. So I'm really excited to do that. There's, there's my two presents. Ah, I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm going to go do my nails and put on the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, um, do, do the one that's over there. I'm near the football, not the big one, the other one. This one here? Yeah, but you can move it over here. Yeah, I'll bring it over here. You can still see all right? Not if you're standing in the way. Yeah, that's fun. Good one, isn't it? Bakewell Tart. Mm. That one's from Home Bargains. I fucking love them, that one. It's the same. Yeah, that's why I was quickly getting my phone out, so I feel like I need the photo. We're on the Chamber of Secrets, so we're building the car. Also, I did my nails, do you like them? Thanks. <laughs> I've never, like, done proper Lego before. Have you not? Well, this is our Lego, our introduction to Lego. I've done them little Lego. not proper. More high copies. Marble. This is what we're aiming for. Bike IKEA. Yeah. I get bored of IKEA though, I don't think I get bored of it. Are you gonna help me now? 
Never been to California, never been to LA. So I'll stay home and write these songs, pretend I'll make it someday. My friends are getting married, they're all settling down. So I'll lay here, watch the ceiling fan go around and round. And it's always gone. We've made it onto the goblet of fire. Yes. Sorry, my lighting man over here is just setting it up. Setting it up. Um, we ah. built the car, as you saw. I, I time lapsed it. We did the photo album. I will show you that, but not now because we're about to eat Chinese. And Sorry. we got a Chinese. Yeah. What did we order, Connor? Um, we got chicken chow mein. We got. Um, Kung Po chicken, crispy chili beef, mixed hors d'oeuvres, chips, with salt and pepper chips, yeah. and banana fritters. They're not for me, they're for Connor, I don't like banana yeah, fritters. Yeah, and the chips aren't for them. They're for me. <laughs> and I just thought I would catch you up. But we're doing well on the films because yeah. we are on Goblet of Fire. So this was our aim, was to make it to Goblet of Fire. Because that's the book we are currently listening to on Audible at night. Yes, so I'll show you the feed after, shall I? <laughs> this is such, I don't think I've ever vlogged sitting on my bathroom floor before, but. Well, there's a first time for everything. I'm just running myself a bath. I'll just put some of this in because I love it. Um, hence why I'm sitting on the floor. But I thought I would just catch you up because this is meant to be a birthday vlog. 
I failed. <laughs> this is like the worst birthday vlog I think I've ever done, but um, I didn't end up vlogging on, on my actual birthday, I don't think, because we took Hugo for a walk, and then we got Starbucks, and then we come home, did gifts, and then went to my mum and dad's for a roast, and there was just not really like any time to actually vlog it and when you're spending time with your family I just feel like there's no need to get a camera out so we had a massive roast dinner and it was delicious and then we come home we went on live stream for like three hours and went to sleep very very tired um, so I haven't vlogged and then I was at work bright and early at half seven this morning so it's just been a bit of a whirlwind I guess so I thought I'd just catch you up on what's been going on. I've just been watching like a lot of YouTube and stuff recently. Um, I've honestly not really been feeling that great and I kind of touched on this I think in the last vlog I uploaded. Like I just, it didn't feel like my birthday. Not because of anyone else, just I, I feel like the novelty definitely wears off the older you get and if you don't know, one of my like biggest you know when people think about like their life purpose and this is gonna get really deep but I have always from like the ages of 16 17 seen my life purpose as being a mum and you know raising my own children and just having that family life with my own children because I was fortunate enough to have the best like childhood and everything and I feel like the older I get, the closer I am to that stage of my life, which splits me into two mindsets. The first one being extremely excited and just can't wait for that chapter of my life, like more than anything. And the other being a bit depressed and down because it's something that I know I really want, but I don't think it's gonna happen yet, if that makes sense. Like, definitely not this year, obviously, with only a few months left, but not even trying or anything. Um, so in terms of like birthdays and stuff, I feel like, oh, it's just another year that I don't have kids. That sounds really depressing because like, I don't know. I've never had like a pregnancy scare or anything and I haven't been on contraception for three and a half years um, so I have like this massive fear that I won't be able to fall pregnant like there's never been any history of it in my family or anything but obviously you never know and not having a scare or anything I think alongside with that being what you you feel your life purpose is, is really freaking scary. And I just can't wait to be a mum. I can't even put it into words. And some people don't really like understand when I say that. Like, my mum doesn't really sometimes understand it. Like, I just can't wait to be a mum. I feel like my whole life and all the lessons I've learned have led up for me to be a mum and to be hopefully a really good mum, fingers crossed. Um, and yeah, it's like the one thing I want more, the one thing I want most in life. So I feel like my birthday is like another reminder that I don't have that yet, but on the other side, I'm still very young. I've only just turned 26, so I've got so much time ahead of me for that chapter, but yeah, my boss has been done actually. So I think in terms of like birthdays, it's, I enjoy them a lot, but I feel like I won't really enjoy them as much until I can celebrate my children's birthdays or like my birthday with my children if that makes sense so yeah I have actually I don't help myself I watch so many nesting vlogs I watch so many pregnancy videos it's ridiculous but I just love watching them I because I just get so excited I get so excited watching like people unboxing their prams and people choosing their car seats and doing the nurseries and folding all the baby clothes up like it brings me so much joy to watch those videos and I literally can't wait for that chapter of my life but aside from that we just had a really nice chill day and I'm really grateful for all my family and for Connor for just making it just really nice and chilled and wholesome and yeah that's basically my little catch-up I thought I would just 
let you know what happened. We made it through halfway through the Goblet of Fire, so we didn't quite complete our Harry Potter movie marathon, but we did get a good chunk done, to be fair. Um, so we're halfway through Goblet of Fire, so we'll probably finish that off like this weekend or something, um, but we don't really have much plans for the rest of the week, so I thought I would end this like short birthday vlog here, and then I'm going to start a new weekly vlog from now onwards so thank you so much for watching i know it's like really weird short all over the place but aren't all my vlogs like that yeah so <laughs> i'll hopefully see you in my next video